In this video we're going to go over soldering. Soldering is done whenever repairs are made on any type of printed circuit board such as a power supply, a logic board in an iPad, or a DC jack on the laptop. You have your soldering iron, the actual tip on the iron, typically you have a holder, and then some other things including uh, this Hakko steel wool cleaner, solder sucker which is used to remove solder from specific areas, and different kinds of flux. These are all things that we'll go into detail on individually, starting over with the soldering iron. The soldering iron that we use here is a Weller WES 51 iron. It allows us to dial in specific temperatures depending on the operation. You have your power switch up here on the left hand side, an LED indicator which lets you know when that iron has reached its appropriate temperature. Moving over, we have the actual iron itself. Now this iron is actually uh, a very nice iron. We try to keep the tip as clean as possible. Uh, having a clean tip on a soldering iron gives you the best results in terms of how well the heat is transferred onto the work area. So as you can see here, the tip is actually quite clean. In another video, we'll go over how to properly maintain your soldering iron tip. So putting that away, over here in the holder, we have a wet sponge. Sponge must always be wet whenever soldering. And then we've got three other tips on the other side here. Um, but I think you'll find that the tip that we currently use works best in almost every application. Going down further, we have our Hakko steel wool cleaner. Now this is actually really good at cleaning the soldering iron whenever there are contaminants on the tip that a simple wet sponge will not remove. This is a more aggressive approach uh, and does actually work quite well. Uh, there's not really any downside to using this over a sponge. It's just in most cases a sponge will suffice. So this is really just mainly used to clean all the stubborn contaminants and or oxidation off the tip of the iron. So these are the basic things that you need to know about our platform that we have set up here at the shop. I will make another video going into detail more about the other tools that we use, such as the solder suckers and the flux pens.